Hello my Shady Amores and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel, hey how you doing? My name is Tony. nice to meet you. Today I will be showing you guys how to achieve this look using the Morphe 39S palette. So if you're interested, please continue to watch as well as like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at Tony's Vanity and I hope you all had a beautiful Mother's Day and let's get into the video. Bye! <laughs> Okay, so first starting off with my eyebrows already done, I'm going to take the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 2 and place it all over my lid. And next I'm going into the palette and taking the shade Make It Rain and place that all over the crease as well as into the inner and outer corners to begin my halo eye. And I'm just going to keep packing this shade on until I get the opacity that I want. Next, I'm taking the shade Bougie. It's a nice hot pink shade, and I'm going to be placing that into the inner corner on top of the dark purple. Now taking a mix of the shades Purple Majesty and Pink Prize, I'm going to place it on the outer corner above the dark purple. And this will give it a nice gradient transition, which I end up not being able to really tell the difference, but it's still cute. <laughs> Now just going back and forth between all of those shades to begin the blending process, I'm just going back in with that dark purple and right on the crease line just to start blending that purple into those transition shades. just going back into that shade bougie so I'm just packing on as well as blending it out just to perfect the eye look and now going back in with that mixture of shades and doing the same thing to the outer portion Then back in with that dark purple brush, I added a little product, not too much, just to help blend it um, a lot more. And now with a clean fluffy brush, I'm just going around the edges of those transition shades just to give it a blown out look and make sure everything around the edge is seamless and not harsh. that same brush I'm just going into that crease line and making sure everything is nice and seamless next this is a hack that I picked up from P. Louise um, I'm taking some Vaseline to do my cut crease now the jig with this is that you want to make sure that you get 
all of the Vaseline off of the area that you're going to place uh, your eyeshadow base on because it will make um, the base crease which will make your eyeshadows crease and it'll just be a whole mess so just make sure that you thoroughly get up all of the Vaseline so I'm just taking a makeup wipe to do that And now going back in with that P. Louise base, I'm going to perfect the crease. Not that you need it because that hack really, really works. I'm just placing the base back down so that my eyeshadows have something to stick to. Just filling it in. And now I'm just taking that same brush that had the dark purple shade on it and I'm blending out both sides of that cut just to make sure it's well blended because you don't want it to dry down with the lines being harsh like that. You want to make sure the ends are blended and that'll just help with the blending of the colors that come after. And now I'm just adding back that bougie shade to the inner part of the cut and I'm just packing it on right now I'm not blending it out as of yet I want to place down all my shades and then once I have everything placed I'll go back and blend everything but here I'm just making sure that I get it tucked right into that cut crease and now I'm going back in with that mixture of shades on the outer portion of the cut And here I'm taking my NYX glitter base and I'm popping that on the very center of that cut crease. I use this for all of my shimmer shades. It makes the shimmers pop like crazy. And I'm taking the shade Perfection and placing that on top of the base. see how bright that shimmer is I love using that NYX base and now just going back in to blend all of the edges so going back in with the hot pink and then into the mixture of shades and blending those up into the shimmer shade as well as down into the um, dark purple shade And now I'm just taking that Pearl Fiction shade and popping that onto my brow bone for a brow bone highlight and taking that fluffy brush with no added product. And I'm just going to blend where the brow bone shade and the hot pink meets. And now I'm just going in with this pink eyeliner from ColourPop, it's called Insomniac. And placing that on the inner part of my waterline. Next, I'm taking Crybaby 
as well as piggy bank and placing that on the outer corner of my waterline. I just wanted to keep with the theme of the eye. Just going back in with the P. Louise base, whatever is left on my brush, I'm just going to blend that on my lower lash line. And whatever we did to the top, it has to come down to the bottom. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're going in with the pink shade on the inner corner and the mixture of shades on the outer corner. And then just going in with the darker purple closest to the waterline. But we're leaving the center open for the shimmer shade. So going back in with my next glitter base, we're going to proceed to put that at the um, center of the bottom lash line and then place the perfection shade on top of it. And of course blend out the edges so everything is nice and seamless. Okay, so that's this eye done. Now I'm going to do the other eye as well as my face and come back and finish the look. And here it is. For my lashes, I use the Crayon Case Purple Pack and it's the second pair out of that pack. Then I'm going in with my lip liner from ColourPop. It's the BFF3. And I'm just going to start to line my lips. And I should have sharpened this because I was really struggling but don't tell nobody Once that's all aligned, I'm taking my Fenty Beauty lip paint in the shade Unbutton and placing it. Um, I like to place a couple of dots in the center and then just pat it out so that I get a nice blend. Or you could take a makeup brush and, you know, blend out the edges, but I like patting it out. And I felt like the look needed a little bit something extra so I went back in with that NYX glitter base and placed it on top of the shimmer shade and then I'm placing a random glitter I believe I got this from Michaels somewhere maybe Walmart it's just a really nice iridescent glitter with stars in it and I'm placing that on top and I was right it did exactly what I wanted it to it added just a little bit more sparkle and so I'm just going to be doing the exact same thing to the lower lash line because we want everything to be nice and symmetrical around here. Spraying my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm going to completely soak my face and I couldn't find my fan. 
so I took a palette instead. I don't like to fan my face completely dry. I like to keep it just a tad bit wet so that when I apply highlighter, it pops. And just going in with the Juvia's Place Nefertiti highlighter, I'm just going to pack it on so that I can look like the glazed donut that I aspire to be. And I place this on the apples of my cheeks as well as the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, a little on my forehead and a little on my chin. And of course, make sure to um, pat the highlighter out so that it's not harsh. So I just go back in with my blush brush and um, pat that over top of the highlighter. And this is the look all completed. I hope y'all really enjoyed it because I love it. Anything purple just gonna get me hype. So this makeup look was everything. y'all can see dance break because I was feeling myself and in this next look I'm just showing you guys a close-up in dimmer lighting so you guys can get a really good look that is it i hope you guys really enjoyed if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video thank you bye